Hello, uh, welcome to Everything Guinea Pig. Um, this is Bath Time with Humphrey. Now, this is something we get asked about quite a lot on our Facebook page and through our different forums. So we thought if we recorded how we bath Humphrey, it will hopefully give you some pointers and uh, some good techniques. So before you start, you must make sure that you've got your area all prepped before you bring Priggy out. So I've got a small pot here for pouring the water. Small animal shampoo. Now it is important you must use a specially designed shampoo for small animals. Their skin has a different pH level to that of humans um, and if you use anything other it can be quite irritating. Got some kitchen roll on the draining board just to stop them from sliding around. Another pile there for changing later on and plenty of clean dry towels. Now I've put a couple of inches of water just in the sink there. It's only lukewarm. Now the most important thing is that you mustn't allow any water into the guinea pig's nose or ears. This thing can be really dangerous and can lead to uh, chest infections, ear infections. So that is of paramount importance. So I'll just fetch Humphrey and then we'll make a start. Here we go. Here we go. So this is Humphrey. Um, bath time isn't his favourite, but he's not too bad at all. So if we just gently lower him in, good boy, there we go. Now, I always keep one hand on Humphrey. It's comforting for him, um, and they do jump out of nowhere. So it's always really important to keep hold of him. And you can see at the front, there's plenty of space. He does hold his head up quite well. The water's no way near his ears or his nose, and you really shouldn't need to bath any further forward than his head. So only ever go up to his neck, just the back end. And I always find as well that facing him away from you means that he's less liable to jump. If he can't see you, he's uh, quite happy where he is. So just use a small pot and gently wet him down. Make sure his fur's on nice and wet. I mean Humphrey's obviously long haired so this takes a little bit more doing than a short haired piggy would. So make sure he's wet right through. And then just to minimise the risk what I tend to do is pop him on the drainer and then rubbing his shampoo whilst he's sat there. Then you're not worried about the water splashing up where it shouldn't be. So 50 pence size amount of shampoo. Give that a good rub onto there, just nice and gently. And that should foam up nicely. Keep him turned away from you. He's got his eye on me. Just work this through underneath his tummy and his back legs as well. All right, good boy. So guinea pigs have a grease gland low down on the back, just between their back legs. All right, good boy. And a normal shampoo like this should cut through any grease. If it's particularly stubborn, you can get a grease remover just to rub onto the local area, but don't bath them with that all over. Just use it as a spot treatment, but this should be suitable. All right, good boy. And now you tell daddy. So make sure it's all rubbed in, then turn his legs. Again, you can see that I'm not going any further forward than I need to, nowhere near his face, his ears or his nose. So he's chuntering at me a bit now, but he's quite happy. All right, good boy. So gently lower him back into the water. Remember, keep one hand on him, just in case he decides to make a leap. And Plenty of water on, make sure you rinse everything out really well. Good boy, I know. And then swap pans so that we don't leave any soap in there. Now Piggy shouldn't need bathing routinely, we maybe do hunt for every four to six weeks just as a bit of a freshen up because he's long haired. But some piggies you might find don't need bathing at all. They keep themselves nice and clean, or other piggies, if they're particularly dirty, may need bathing a little bit more. So that's got the majority of it out. So I'll swap this kitchen roll on here so it's nice and dry. And then just want to change the water for a final rinse. We'll pop him on the side again. Give him a bit of a ring out. Now remember with the water, just lukewarm. Because they're quite sensitive, so you need to be careful. Not too hot or too cold. 
just about right so a couple of inches in the bottom there remember not too high up because that means we can keep his nose and his ears clear and just one final rinse on here now there has been a lot of videos online recently about guinea pigs swimming and we don't think this is a good idea at all they're not natural swimmers and really there's no need to do it at all you might find the occasional piggy that doesn't mind but we certainly wouldn't advocate it at all which is why it's important just to keep the water nice and shallow. Now the room we're in is quite warm, but bearing in mind they've only got little bodies and if they're cold and wet, it's not going to be very good for them. So do keep the area nice and warm, no drafts, no cold air. So he's now nice and rinsed. So what we do, move this out of the way, bring in a nice, good boy, dry towel. Now I've got a few towels here, so we use one just to get the sopping off and then we'll swap that for a nice dry one and then he goes for some more sweet on me. So give him a bit of a ring out, let him drain off. Pop him on there. Good boy. There we go, it's all done. And gently give him a rub. Get rid of the worst of it. Now some people like to use a hairdryer and some piggies tolerate this really well. Um, we don't tend to with Humphrey, he's a bit of a fidget bum. So we tend to let him dry naturally once we've got the worst off. And he lives indoors as well, so all right, I know. So a nice dry towel and then it's time to be wrapped up and snuggles with mummy. So thanks again for watching with everything guinea pig. That's Humphrey's bath time. And uh, here's a free Scooby snack and some loves with mummy. Thanks then.